our group were focused on so the point of what we were trying to do is ease the way you can generate simple tutorials if you've got a small set of scripts that you've written for your research and you want to help um, your users make you know, get, get their head around them. Uh, so the idea was that you would sort of we had two uh, two strands to what we were looking at. One is how can you make sure that the documentation you might already have is maintained and continues to, to function. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the other aspect was, can you just generate that easily? So can you run your commands and then in, in a certain sort of session and then directly turn those commands and what you get out of them into markdown uh, documentation? Uh, so the two strands are, yes, generating that doc documentation more easily and then how can we uh, test that it, kick, it is maintained and is always valid once it's there? Um, so we based, largely produced two tools. One is the guy that's going to help you generate that tool, generate that documentation. The other one is the actual testing suite, which we can then stick in the continuous integration it will continually monitor as you update your, your code. Uh, as you can see, we have the catchy name, Worry Wood. It's <laughs> what you read is actually what it's doing, so that's the document. Uh, so I will pass over to, I think you're going to go to the wizard. The wizard, yep. So that's the part that is a demo, actually. Uh, So, uh, this is the wizard that uh, will actually capture what uh, you type uh, as a command. Uh, this is where I was doing it. Uh, we're a wizard, which is a name. Uh, so, I use a file output file name uh, in Markdown. Uh, it tells me to start typing my commands. So I'm going to do ls, I'm going to do echo. Hello. Uh, you can do stuff that don't have output. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> or, or actually, go on an executable. Uh, Dragon name. And when I'm done, just enter. And what I've created is a bare bones markdown that gives you the command and the output. And if there is no output, it just skips it. That's all. So. so, can we use the, yeah, is the project page open for the demo somewhere? Awesome. Okay, so we have a way of generating a markdown file with some commands in it. Um, I mean, you can edit these things directly in GitHub, of course, um, quite through through extended editors and things. So this is the this is in fact the Dragon Name project, which is just a, a silly test project. Um, so the user could then go in there and insert some additional commentary just in between those code tags. How much for? Okay. Um, so we can go and insert some comments so our documentation feed, so we have the input and output commands, which is cool. Um, what we really want to do is make sure it's possible to keep this up to date as the code base has changed. So if we look at this at this code base, um, we actually have continuous integration set up to monitor whether this is being done correctly. So we have our, our build, which we see is passing on the master branch, uh, but we also we have a pull request here from an enthusiastic API change. Um, and if we look at the API change, we find that it is in fact failing on its Travis testing. So this is the automatic testing that is checking on this contribution, which definitely wasn't meant to break anything. Um, and in fact, if we look at the details of the fail, we can see that the Python tests pass just fine, but the Ruid test that we tapped on the end has failed. So that compares the input and output from that tutorial document by reading the markdown with what it was actually supposed to do. And that involves, in terms of a Travis setup, just adding install our package and run the test. Yeah. All right, so here we have not all, so in our package we love badges, so we have a lot of badges. 
Uh, we got the license, we got the, that they built this pricing, we got uh, cut off, and a new one for saying that we've got the develop as well, for the workshop 19. Um, okay. <laughs>